Hello, I'm Andy Fisher. I'm going to show you how to program an all tracks controller. There's a couple things you need first to get set up. You need a 12 volt battery. You need the controller, which has to be an axe controller from all tracks, programmable. You got to have the cord to talk to the computer and a laptop. The reason you want a laptop is so you can monitor, you can actually install this in the golf cart and hook it up and drive the golf cart with your laptop and you can look at the parameters, you can change parameters. All right, when you get the cable, you gotta plug it in and let it find the cable and the software for the programming. Then you go to the All Tracks homepage and click on software. Software page will pull up two different downloads, either Build 39 for 20, 2006 or newer controllers or Build 38 for controllers built for 2005. This is a 2007 controller, so I'm going to build 39. Once you download them to your desktop or wherever you want to save them, you turn everything on, you plug the cable in, you hook a red positive from the battery to the controller to the number one terminal. It's marked on the controller throttle one or key on. Then you take a ground wire and run to the ground of the battery and you see that the little green light is solid. I've already programmed this controller, but I'm going to go through the steps to show you what to do. You get on the laptop and you click on 39 Controller Pro and open it up. It'll bring up a window. You click on 39. And it gives you the throttle response settings. It's actually called the control, or I'm sorry, yes, this is the throttle response. I've got this set at EasyGo ITS, which is for the controller. I've got it on inductive, which is how a ITS works. And it's set. Once you hit it, you can refresh it, and you can start over. It'll pull up the rigging throttle. Then you can set it at whatever you want of these parameters right here. If it's an ITS though, it pretty much, it'll work on easy go ITS, easy go pot zero to five, Yamaha zero to one or 5K ohms. I've not ever tried the zero to five bolts. I've not <coughs> tried that, so I don't know if it works. But it will work on those. You can go to the control panel and you can set your max output current, which is 100%. Under voltage, this controller runs on 24 to 48 volts. I've got it set right above 24 volts to cut off if the voltage in your battery pack goes dead. Over voltage is 55.7. It's got a max of 60, so I'll give myself a little leeway. The throttle up rate is set at 10. It's a scale of 15. I put it on 10 depending on who's, drive, who's driving it and how they're going to drive. You can change it anytime you want to. The throttle down rate I've got set at 8. That's so when you let off the gas pedal it slows down quicker or faster or slower whichever way you want. This one doesn't have a regen braking in it so I don't put anything on it. It's zero and I want top speed so I've got it on fast. I've also got the half speed disconnected and I've got the turbo turned on. There's a high pedal disable. I don't use that. I don't have the plug braking on it. Ooh. So once you do it, you just hit set. And it takes it. It puts it in the controller. And now you're done. You're done programming. Now, once you're in the golf cart, you can come in and check all these. And it'll check the throttle position, controller temperature, battery voltage, output current, battery current, and air flag. You can turn this on and put how many seconds you want it to watch it. And as long as you're driving your golf cart, it will monitor all this. You can even print it out when you get back and hook up to a printer. You can print the information out. If you're using these controllers to race with or performance wise, it's a good tool to use. So there it is. That's how you program an all tracks controller. I've got everything set. It's good. All you do is click off of it. Click out of it.
click off of that and then all you do is just take the positive wire off of here the green light goes out disconnect it take the cable loose and you're done the controller is set it's ready to be put in the golf cart you can also do all this in the golf cart if you want to but i find it easier to do it here where it's easy to get to hope this helps somebody have a good day bye